Hey guys, it's Genoheat here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, well, now that Hogwarts Legacy has officially been released on disc, as in the standard version, we can now put it through the what's on the disc test, which is to see what's actually on the disc if we install the game offline. So, a lot of games fail that test these days, a lot of modern games, because a lot of modern games, there's literally nothing on the disc, and it's kind of a waste and a huge shame too, uh, especially when it comes to game preservation in the future. So, I really do applaud the games that do actually, you know, have something on the disc, and it's not just like, you know, a blank license file or whatever. Alright, so anyways, let's put the disc in and let's, let's see what happens when we install it. Alright, so the game is now installing, and as you can see, it actually does have something on the disc, which kind of surprised me actually. Uh, mostly because, you know, these days, there's it's really rare for something like this to happen but the game has about 36 gigabytes of data on it and it's it takes a while to install like almost half an hour to install the, everything on a disc but it's uh it's actually kind of strange because once once you get close to the end first of all the logo changes to this logo instead of the one that's the other one that you saw at first and the first logo that we saw, that's actually the final logo that you see when you update the game later. But this logo you get when you don't update the game. So it's, uh, not sure why it's a different logo, but whatever. But anyways, in the game files, the game, like I said, takes up almost 37 gigabytes. And it's, it's not the 1.0 version, but it's kind of close. But... What's interesting is that when you update the game, you get a 64.22 gigabyte update. It's a huge, massive update that takes a while to download as well. Uh, and once it's done uploading, you actually have two things installed for Hogwarts Legacy. And the whole game is 77.1 gigabytes in size now. So it comes with the base game, which is like 62 gigabytes. And then you have the HD texture pack, which takes up the rest. Which is really odd, because the that means the, the disc version of the game, it's like it's like half the size, less than half the size of the final version. So what what's actually on it then? Well, let's start it up and find out. So so far the game does launch. It you know, it actually does have something so far and it did take us to the setup menu. So that's all correct. We're not like so I mean it, it could be a main menu only, but it uh it doesn't seem to be the case for for that uh you know, huge of a install. But let's let's go through it a, a little bit. We have the character creation. I'm just going to do the default character. Um, and just, you know, kind of speed through this. Try to get in-game and see what we have, if we can get in-game. So right now we have the intro cinematic. And not going to spoil too much, so I'm just going to kind of skip ahead a little bit. But the intro does work. And now we're actually in gameplay here. But before we go too far into gameplay, let's check some of the settings. Because maybe it's missing its graphical settings. But okay, okay, apparently that's not the case, actually. We have fidelity, we have fidelity with ray tracing, and we have the performance mode. So I switch it to ray tracing here, and it does it does actually work. So I'm actually not sure. And also with the HD graphics, uh, the HD texture pack that you install and you download, I, I compared the two. Like, I, I looked at clips of both, and honestly... I can't really tell the difference between the HD texture version and the disc version. So they, they both look the same, even like the ground textures and the face textures all look pretty similar. Uh, so without playing through the entire game, I cannot definitively say like if the entire game is actually on the disc, but it seems like it seems like it is because I think the Series S version, the install size is like not, not too far from the disc version here. So it's possible that what's on a disc might be like the Series S version, minus a few updates here and there, a few patches. But I, I don't know that for sure. And I, I highly doubt this is like the Xbox One version either. That hasn't been released yet. So it's interesting, but it, it does definitely seems like the whole game is available on a disc, and you can play it offline and install it offline. So huge applause for that. But again, the, the, the discrepancy in the sizes, uh, I, I don't really know like what's the difference, really. But in any case, I'm fairly certain that the entire game is on the disc, which is really great for game preservation and really what everyone should be doing with uh, their games these days. But unfortunately, not many are anymore. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and found it to be interesting. If you did, make sure to leave a like, leave a thousand in the comments. Let me know any other games you want me to test out or, you know, stuff like that. And aside from that, make sure to subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.